Hey guys, it's Heather from Cattle the Plan, and today I am sharing some new product from Faux Memo. This video is sponsored by Faux Memo. Um, I have done several videos in the past of different ways to use a Faux Memo printer in your planner. So I'm going to be reviewing some of the new product they sent me, and then I will give you some ideas of how to use this in your planner. So this is the new printer. It's super cute because it looks like a little envelope, which I think is adorable. Um, and it is a portable printer. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And so you can download the FOMEMO app on your phone. If you have the old printer, I don't know if I should say old, the first printer, then when you get this printer in the left corner of your app, you would want to switch it. So this is the M02S and the other one is just the M02. So you want to be sure to click M02S and that should show up in the top corner. That way you know this printer is working with your app. The great thing about this printer that's a little bit different, the first printer only prints one size of paper. It's printed this size of paper. This printer prints three sizes of paper. Um, it prints a 15 millimeter, which is this one. Um, and it is in, you can order a pack of paper. And the great thing about this pack is it comes with three different papers in the pack. The other packs, you would get one pack of paper and that's what was in the pack. This one has three different ones. So it comes with a clear um, st and they're sticky, so a clear sticky in the 15 millimeter. It comes with the red hearts, sorry, that's upside down, in the 15 millimeter. And then it comes with the, I think this one's gold, a gold transparent in the 15 millimeter so those are the tiny sizes it also comes in i think this one's 25 25 millimeter and this one has also three papers one is this one i think is blue clouds if i remember correctly yeah this one is a blue cloud paper and it is a little bit thicker than that first paper that we looked at um it also has do, do, do. I think this one is yeah it's like a, this one is called damask pink it has that it's a light pink and it has that really pretty damask design and then it also comes the third one I actually have in my printer right now um, it comes in this pink kind of snowflake design as well in that size and then it also comes you can also get the 50 millimeter and this one says this is the same paper that you could use in the other printer. And this one says it's a blue image. So when you unroll it, it looks like it's just clear. But I'm sorry, not clear. It looks like it's just white. I haven't used this one yet, but if it says blue, that means that the ink on this paper should be blue. Um, they also have paper that's the ink is black and they also have paper this size that's like clear sticker paper I've used that in other videos before and then to change out the size so right now I have the 25 millimeter what I'm gonna do is you kind of pop these down and it pops this out and this is like you take that that end off you pull off the 25 millimeter and I want to do the clear so I'm gonna take the clear one this is a 15 millimeter clear, because I'm gonna show y'all a cool way to use these. Right, off, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a way that you could use these for planner stuff. So I'm gonna put that in, and then you just line this up, and then you slide it back. And you wanna make sure that all of the paper is inside of this little compartment so that it prints right. And then you just push it together. See right here how the paper didn't go all the way in. So I just wanna be sure to tuck that all the way in. Have the paper come out this way, okay? And then you just take this. And you let it drop just right back into your plan or, or into your printer. And then you pull this out and you snap it shut, okay? And then you can just pull off that extra okay so now I'm going to show you guys just right off the bat something you can do with this printer we all love 
sticker books. Am I right? Like, if you're watching this video, you more than likely love planner sticker books. So, I'm going to grab a sticker book. The old planner sticker books don't have anything on the top. And so, it can be hard to figure out... Oh, you know what? Clear is actually not going to work for this because it's clear and the ink is black and so it would be black on black. So to open your printer, you just press this and then you pop it out. I'm actually going to change this from the clear to the gold. I did not think about the fact that black on black would not work. So I'm going to pop this in. I'm super excited about this small size. It might be the one that I'm like most excited about um, in these new papers because there's a lot of different things you can use these for in your planner. So I'm going to pop that out, pull out the gold. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click here where it says Label Workshop. And then I'm going to go to the home and it says storage box. I'm going to click templates. If you click where it says shoes, hit the trash can because then it will delete that. I'm going to click insert text. I'm going to go to my font and I'm going to go ahead and pick the font I want. So you just click it and then you give it a second. Go to the keyboard, delete what is there. Oops. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Delete what's there and then I'm going to go type teacher seasonal teacher seasonal check mark now before I print this I want to click label setting width and I want to make sure that it's set to the 15 millimeter if I was using the 25 millimeter then I would switch it to the 25 millimeter that's how you know that it's going to print on the right size so then I'm going to click check and then I'm going to click print print Okay, let's print in my label. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim off this end. And I'm going to trim off this end. And then I'm going to peel this off. Okay, then I have my label. And then I can go to the top of my sticker book. And I can lay it down and then I can fold it over the back. And then you could just fold it over the top. That's what I would do. But if it bothers you that that's folded over the top, you could just trim it off. It doesn't really bother me because it's just a cute little gold strip. You really can't see it that much. But now on the top of my book, it says teacher seasonal so now when I'm looking at my sticker books I can easily grab this one because now I know what sticker book it is because I added a label to it so I really love that that is one way that you could use this another way you could use this is if you take a notebook so let me find a notebook okay this is a mini. I really need a classic. Let me go grab a bigger note. planners, a lot of us have dividers that we want to label, but maybe we don't have um, the right stickers or something to create a label for our planner. So here is a big divider. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert text. I'm going to click this text. I'm actually going to click this, click the trash can so that it goes away. Insert text. I'm going to choose my font. Okay, go to my keyboard, and I'm going to type notes, oops, check mark, um, select a border. Maybe I want to put a cute little border on this one. That's cute. Sometimes the app runs a little bit slow, so you have to be patient with it. Oh, I like this one because it's just like a circle. But this one is a circle with dots, I think. I think it has little cute dots side, along the side or along the edge. Okay. Then I'm going to click the check mark. I'm going to go to print. 
and I'm gonna print it. Okay, here I did it on the gold. I meant to actually switch out the paper to the clear, but it, it may look cute gold. This would be really good to do with the clear paper though. So I take it, I lay it down, and then I can just take like an X-Acto knife and kind of trim off the edges. Okay. And now I have a cute label on my divider. And this would have been really, really cute, like if we peel this off, because it is, you could just easily remove it, which is also nice, because if you ever decide you want to use this this divider for something else, then it's going to be pretty easy um, to just pull it off. So this, when I let it go, I would suggest when you, when you take the tapes out, don't just let them go, because then they kind of unroll too much, and you need to tighten it up. So I'm gonna re-roll this clear one and then I'm going to remake this with clear so y'all can see. So I rolled this back up and I put the tape back on. The tape that comes on these, I actually like to keep it so that when I'm trying to roll things back up, and I have them and they don't just like unroll like crazy. So I'm gonna take this one out, um, the gold. I'm gonna hold it together while I pull it out. That way it stays together and then I can take the tape and just tape it back and then it stays, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna take my clear and I'm gonna slide it on the right way. And then once I have it on, I could take the tape off. Just a little trick on how to keep this together and then slide that on and then I can let go of it, okay? Then I just let this fall back in, pull out my clear paper Okay, now, we're gonna just print the notes again that we made a second ago. Peel it off. I could go ahead and trim kind of around it if I want to. You don't have to. Okay, oops, that's the wrong one. Take this. Peel it off and lay that. I could even lay it a little bit higher up and then just trim off the extra. And now it's clear, which makes it look even better. And now you have that clear notes on the divider. Okay, now just off the top of my head, I thought of another way that you can use this clear paper. Um, so I'm gonna grab this okay so a lot of us a lot of planners also choose to use undated planners so i'm going to take out an undated page from this planner and let's i'm just going to make up some dates let's say this is like the 14th 15th 16th and 17th so i can go here insert text i'm going to actually you got to click this hit the trash can and then click insert text I'm gonna pick my font. Okay, and then I'm gonna to go to the keyboard. I'm gonna delete this and let's do like 14 dot dot. I don't want any dots, I just want spaces. 15. Sixteen. 17. Check. Oh, there's like little labels and stuff. That's a whole nother thing we'll do. Print it. Maybe I want to make it thick. Oh, I forgot to take, dang it. I forgot to take the um, border off. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click no border. So if you're staying in the app, you need to be sure to take the border off if you don't want it. So then I'm going to print it again without the border. OK, 
Okay, and then I have made stickers to date my planner. People are always like, where can I get more numbers to date my planner? I don't have enough. Make your own with the faux memo. So then you can just take it. Oops. Cut off both edges. Oh my goodness, I just fell. Boom. Now it's dated. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. I love it. Look, and they look really cute. And now I, I can make endless numbers and date my planner. I'm obsessed. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. That's like my favorite thing. So I'm like seriously obsessed with these 15 millimeter because there's so many things that you can make um with this tiny paper and it comes I love that this one comes with clear and gold and then the other one oh was the red hearts which is super cute too um again there are the 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 25 millimeter I didn't use any of that today um but I'm sure I will have a video soon up about different ways to use this one um and you could honestly use these in the same way, but it's just a thicker paper. I do want to try out the blue paper so that we could see what it looks like. So let's undo this. I'm going to leave some of the tape still on here so it doesn't unravel because I'm not quite ready for it. But I have tape here. Hit the button, pull this out. I'm holding this together so that it does not unravel a whole bunch. It's gonna unravel a little bit just because, but once you pull it out, you can just kind of tighten it a little bit. One reason you wanna keep it tight is so that that stays in there. Okay, so holding it tight, I'm gonna place my tape to keep it together, put it over there. Now let's take this, I wanna see what this blue one looks like when it prints. This goes on this side. The long stick goes on the left. The short stick goes on the right. Pop it in. Make sure the paper's getting in there. Drop this in there, pull the paper out, and close it. Now, here, I'm gonna go back to this page. I'm gonna go to templates, because they do have lots of cute templates um in the faux memo let's go to a to-do list because we're planners so we love to-do lists i like this one you can type in your to-do list so i could say film five videos insert and it puts it on the checklist i could say get nails done insert um post office, insert, mm, what else do I need to do today, ship orders, insert, call pops, insert, grocery shopping, insert, okay, then I can click print, print, oh my gosh, it is blue, that blue is pretty, Okay, then I can peel it off. And if we go back to this planner, I'm gonna print this again because I feel like I put the paper in a little crooked so it printed a little crooked. Yes, look how much straighter that is. Okay, so because this was like right when I put it in, it's a little bit crooked, but that was my fault, not the printer's fault. And because this one printed perfectly straight. So, I'm 
I can trim it down. Peel this off. My nails have gotten too long. I'm struggling using my nails right now. And then this, I bet it's going to fit like perfectly in this box. <sighs> Look at that. The width of this paper fits a big happy planner perfectly. And now I have just that cute little box. And then I could make, let's see, images. Oh, you could put your own picture. Let's see what that looks like. This is my niece. She went to a circus thing and she got her face all done. Let's just see. I love that this is the exact width of a big happy planner. I love it. So I can trim it. Trim it. Place this here. Okay, and then what you can do, I, I'm going to show you all how to use the thicker paper, I think. Because then what you could do, you could pop this open. Let's take out the pink paper with, with the snowflakes. Okay. Okay, take that out. Put this on. Okay, I kind of need to like run it up tight. And the reason you kind of have to keep it a little bit tight is um, so that it fits in the printer. So my main suggestion would probably be don't switch out your paper this often. Like I'm kind of switching it a lot just to show y'all, but I would like put in the paper that you want to use and then use it <laughs> and don't just switch paper every time you get a new idea. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in here. Oh, it goes in like this. There you go. Close it. And then I can go back to the label workshop. This is the 25 millimeter. Um, I could go back to home. I'm just going to use the storage box, even though I'm not doing a storage box. I'm going to delete this. Insert text. She went to a daddy daughter dance. Check. Oh, let's actually insert text. Choose our font. I like to have cuter fonts than just keyboard daddy daughter dance check I could put a cute border on it check and then I'm going to go to label setting with 25 millimeters you can set your, your length um, yourself if you want to. So I could say like, maybe I want it to be 50 millimeters. No. We'll just leave it at that. But you can set it if you want to. Print. Okay, take this off. I'm going to trim it down to where it's just outside of the border. Okay. 
peel it off and then lay it. I could do it like maybe like this. And then right here, I could write about how they went to the daddy daughter dance. Okay, so that's just a few examples of how you can use this printer. And if you don't like the pictures with the blue ink, you can also get the black ink and then do like a black and white spread. That would be really cute. Um, so that's just a few examples. I love that this new printer gives you the option to print so many different sizes of paper. You didn't have that option with the other printer. And so I really, really enjoy that. So thank you, Fomimo, for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in purchasing any of these items that I showed, I will link them in the description. So be sure to check that out. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.